Welcome to Zurich. We're here with the new Audi Q2, which according to Audi is a whole new class of vehicle. Crossover compact SUV? We're not quite sure yet. Let's take a closer look. If I had to pick just one word to describe the new Audi Q2, it's all about the style. This is the first time that Audi's ever presented an octagonal grille on the front of any of their cars, and it looks great. Matched up with these angular big air intakes, they're not actually active on this car, full LED headlights, and a really sculptural bonnet. That comes through to the side, where it looks as if somebody's taken a chisel and taken out a huge swathe of the side. That's not quite to everybody's tastes, but I like it. The wing mirrors are mounted low, which gives you an almost coupe-like styling. That's mirrored with the roof line that drops really elegantly away to the back into what Audi called the blade. This can be customized with different colors to suit your taste and brings us nicely round to the back of the car. At the back, we have a nice discreet spoiler at the top. The angular design continues through these nice rear lights and the boot. And at the bottom, just in case you forgot it was an SUV, a nice big rear diffuser. If you're going to drive an SUV, you'll want a little bit more power than this lawnmower. Unfortunately, Audi hasn't disappointed here. At launch, the Q2 comes with a choice of six different engines, three petrol and three diesel, and whichever way you go, they range in power between 116 and 190 horsepower. The one litre petrol, which is the entrance model, only has three cylinders. This is the top model. It's a two litre diesel, and it produces 190 horsepower. So, how does it drive? The answer is well. We're driving the top version diesel, which is a two liter producing 190 horsepower, and it's been paired with a seven speed automatic S-Tronic gearbox. I have to say, this is a pre-release version, and that means there's still a little refinement that needs to be done with the way that the gears change. There's a little turbo lag, and sometimes it could be a bit crisper, but that should be sorted out before the car comes to production. Now, we really like the way the engine handles. There's certainly the power that you want, and I feel it's best suited to driving through towns, which I have to say is what people are most likely going to be wanting to do with this car. How's the comfort inside while you're driving? Well, there are lots of new design features to talk about, but let's hear from Audi's designer about that. So the key features in this interior are, first, all the connectivity functions. So the car is super connected to internet, and you have this connection for three years included with your car when you buy the Navigation Plus system. Uh, the second really important feature of this interior is the customization. Basically, we have uh, those applications here on the center console, on the dashboard and on the doors, which are uh, customizable and also available with a, a light through um, option. So that makes a lot of uh, variation possible for our youngest customer. Basically, uh, we bring everything that is uh, in our top range cars into a smaller package, which means we have here the digital cockpit. We have also a head-up display, which is here a combiner head-up display. We have an 8.3 uh, inch screen. And so it's basically all top class uh, equipment for this category of car. Uh, I'm 1 meter 90 and I have to say I have enough space for my knees, I have enough clearance on the roof. Regarding the boots, we have 405 liter and when you flatten the seats you have actually 1050 50 liter. So what is the Q2 and who's going to buy it? Well, I think it's fair to call it a compact SUV. It's clearly not going to appeal to people who want the bigger, more rugged SUV like a Q7, and it's not really quite small enough to fit into the category of a true compact car. But what it is, is extremely stylish, and it will appeal to people who want SUV capability in a compact car. Most importantly of all, it's still an Audi.